YouTube, uh, we're going to call this video, Three People Were Sitting in a Raft, A Priest, A Rich Man, and You. And yeah, I know, man, it sounds like the start of a really bad joke, but we'll get back to the title here in a second. Let's start by reading the verses for this video. We're going to read in John chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You know, many times we do stuff wrong, right? And God has to work in our life. He has to work in us to help us overcome this. And we want to hide that from people. We want, don't want people to see that the fact that we need God to help us. We want them to see us as perfect with nothing wrong, right? But we really should show that to people. We should show how God loves us and how his mercy and his grace helps us through these obstacles and these uh the sin to overcome it right we need to show that to people because they need to know that they're not alone you see they're no different than we are and you know the um the bible says that jesus came to save sinners and paul calls himself the chief of sinners but i gotta tell you many days and almost every day in fact every day i feel like i got paul beat right? I, I stumble on things I shouldn't, right? Stupid things. Greed, right? Stuff like that. I stumble on, you know, my words, whatever it might be, right? So I feel like I got Paul beat. But you know, it says that Jesus came and he lived a perfect life. He never sinned. He fulfilled the law. And he could have stopped right there and said, look, look what I've done. It's possible. You have no reason that you can't fulfill the law and, and, and be saved. You know? And if it were me that did that, I might do that, right? But Jesus didn't do that. He didn't stop there. He went and he died a sinner's death on the cross. A, sin, a, a death he did not deserve. A death that was mine and yours, right? And, you know, when we read the Bible, it says... In John 3, 17, it says, He did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You see, Jesus didn't come to live a perfect life and say, Look, I'm holy, and you should be as holy as this. It's possible. He didn't come to do that. He did do that, and then he turned around and he died for us. Right? And it's a gift. It's a free gift, meaning every one of us can afford it. And we'll come back, and we come back to that title, right? There's three people sitting on a raft. A priest, a rich man, and you. And let's say there's another raft, and it floats by, and it says free water. And everybody reads it. And we're all getting really thirsty, really thirsty. It's been days since we drank anything. And the priest says, you know what? I'm so holy. I ain't got to worry about that. I'm going to be saved. I'm, I'm taken care of because of how good I am, Right? And the rich man says, yeah, well, I'm rich. I got a helicopter coming any minute for me. And you look at yourself and you say, man, I'm poor. I ain't got two pennies to rub together. And man, I'm not holy at all. I've fallen so short, I don't even know. I'll drink that water. And you drink the water. And the priest and the rich man, they sit there and relying on themselves and their riches. And they die of dehydration. And that's so much like salvation. You know? We think that we can attain it by our works. Or we can buy it. Or we can just inherit it. It doesn't work that way. You have to accept it. Right? It says that if you don't accept it, Jesus in your life, in this, these Bible verses, that you're condemned already. You're already headed to death, right? And, you know, many people, they stumble on the idea that a holy and loving God would send people to hell. But let me tell you this. God sending people to hell 
and you getting what you chose, what you chose, are the same thing. You see, the Bible says that every good thing comes from God, right? But you don't want nothing to do with God. And you know what? God, God, he created this place for the devil and the demons, right? And it's a place called hell. It's a place where he was not. It wasn't created for us. If God had it his way, every one of us would accept Jesus in our heart. Every one of us would be saved. That's what God wants. But it comes down to our choice. What do we choose? Do we choose to rely on ourselves or others or our riches or our parents and their an inheritance in heaven? Or do we put our belief and our faith in Jesus Christ? Like these Bible verses said. Like I said, God sent people to hell and we getting what we chose are the same thing. You don't want nothing to do with God. So he says, okay, I'll put you somewhere where I'm not. Every good thing comes from me. I'll put you somewhere where there is no good thing. Right? But I wish I didn't have to. In fact, I gave everything so I, I wouldn't have to. But you got to accept that, right? You got to put your faith in God. He did everything on the cross. If there was some kind of stipulation after that, man, I won't be able to afford it. In fact, I would be so far in debt, it, I wouldn't even come close, right? Thank goodness it's a free gift that everybody can just, in, that everybody can have. And when we accept Jesus in our heart, you know, it's crazy. He calls us holy and acceptable. But we're, you know, we didn't deserve it. In fact, uh, the pastor at my church, or one of the pastors at my church, this last week said a statement, and it caught me, and it just touched me, right? And he said, you know, when we get saved, we're adopted children of God. And in this passage, we said, the only begotten Son of God, right? Jesus, God, Jesus Christ. It's almost like saying, He's the only by blood, or only actual Son, but we are the adopted children of God. We get the same inheritance. We get eternity with Him. If we accept Him, the question is, what do you want? Yeah, you might not want to go to hell, but you want nothing to do with God. You see, them two things can exist in the same area, right? See, God's a just God. He's going to give you what you deserve, what you want. He's not going to force this stuff on you. He's, and He can't change. It's how He is. It's how He always will be. It says God came and looked upon sin. He's so just and holy. Because if he did, he wouldn't be who he is. But he cannot change. So what are you going to choose today? Are you going to put your faith in Jesus Christ? Are you going to put, are you going to drink the water that's free? Or are you going to put your faith in yourself, in others, in your riches, the things that lead to death? So many times I stop, it gets me because I'm like, I'm like, man, I don't get it. But all I've done is take my eyes off Jesus and look down at the waves as Paul did when he got out of the boat. Or I'm sorry, Peter did when he got out of the boat. I can't wait till the day when all I have to look at is his eyes, right? Choose God. He doesn't want not any of you to perish. Not one person. He loves you. He loves me all the same. And he gave you a gift that everyone, no matter how rich or poor you are, can afford. The greatest gift ever. So accept him, please. If you have any questions, message me. If you have any comments, put them down. I'll, re I'll reply, right? But have a great week. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. When, it, when, when the waves are coming 
and you feel like you're drowning, put your eyes on Jesus Christ. Call on his name. Yeah, he might not answer the way you wanted him to, but you know what? In the long run, he knows best. And that's what matters. This robe, it's for a second. It's fleeting. Take this robe. Give me eternity with my Lord and Savior. I hope that's your cry too. Have a great week.